A proposal to eliminate the state income tax stirred a lot of emotions on Thursday during a debate at the Wayman Elks Club. Nationwide, poll after poll shows that voters want government to be smaller than it is today. We've heard story after story of government waste. The big dig. $100,000 a year sign painters on the mass pipe. Toll takers who make $70,000 a year plus lucrative benefits. Exorbitant government employee pensions, double dipping pensions, the Quinn Bill, police detail, and $200 million high schools in wealthy neighborhoods. And the backers of Question Money make a, make a pretty appealing pitch given these tough times. Vote for this and we're just going to get rid of wasteful state government and everyone's going to get back $3,600 and we'll create 500,000 new jobs. It all sounds pretty sweet, doesn't it? But the only problem is, it's not true. What question one will do in reality is make reckless cuts in programs that we all benefit from. And that means cuts that are going to hurt seniors who need help paying their medical bills. It means that we can't repair the 68% of our roads that need fixing or the 52% of our bridges in Massachusetts that are rated poor. Don't forget the bridge that collapsed in the Midwest a couple of years ago. The town of Weymouth is reliant upon 30% of its budget revenues coming from the state, and we're very worried about that. So if, if question one were in a reform area, if it was really reform, I believe it would have gone to specifics and should have. I'm all for reform, and I, ha I have no doubt that we need it in state government. It doesn't do that, however. What it, every one of our departments was slashed between four and eight percent. Every single department, including schools. We're spending $47 billion. It is largely unexamined and unaccountable. And we need to look at that, look at every single program, do what's called zero-based budgeting. Businesses do it all the time. People do effectively the same thing in their own family budgets all the time. This is what ordinary people do every day. This is what businesses do every day. And this is what governments refuse to do, what the politicians refuse to do, and that must end. Every single line item, even though this won't necessarily touch the Weymouth budget, it doesn't have to, Weymouth should be looking at every single line item in its town budget and doing zero-based budgeting. I, I agree that zero-based budgeting, we have a better budgeting process so that the small areas of government are made more efficient. However, to once again remind you of the scale of this cut, $5 billion is every local aid dollar. So there's not a lot, I mean, there's not a lot of flexibility there. The other things that state government pays for, it's debt service. It's prisons. We've already seen some prisons in this state letting out, you know, nonviolent offenders because they just don't have the room to keep them, you know, in the prisons. Maybe that will be happening. Again, you know, you don't want to sound like you're being chicken little, that the, that the sky is falling.